So our listener Vince injured his back off of his feet for three months, found a negative pregnancy test in the trash can of the bathroom, had questions. Girlfriend blamed it on her sister. She was out for three weeks, so he's like, hmm, still things don't seem to add up. Yep, the math wasn't math, and he's like, why is she lying about that? Now the update. Hey, guys. So you all help me confirm my suspicions. Ooh. The more I thought about it, and after hearing you talk about it, the whole, it's my sister's excuse, didn't fly with me. Okay. But wait until you hear this. I was all ready to approach my girlfriend and ask her again about the test and present her with my doubts when she actually approached me. Okay. She told me she heard you guys talking about it Mm. and knew it was me who reached out. Oh. She told me that if I had doubts that I should have just talked to her instead of going on a radio show. (laughs) Okay. And that if I can't trust her, then we aren't going to work out. Oh. Oh. Apparently, she forgot that I did approach her, and apparently she had several friends reach out to her and ask if it was her we were talking about, and that was embarrassing. Mm. The trust is important to her, and that she can't be with someone who can't trust her. I asked her again whose test it was. She doubled down, said it was her sister's. Okay. So we're taking a break. Oh. Maybe she thought in my current situation that I wouldn't be mobile enough to check the bathroom trash and catch her, right? Uh Uh-huh. Right now, I don't know if there's another guy in the picture, but I bet there is. Mm. I've been doing a lot of thinking the past few days and think I may have missed some red flags that have been popping up for several months. Mm -hmm. So maybe this outcome was inevitable. But anyways, I'm trying to be positive and just continue to recover from my back injury. I'm hoping to be on my feet again in another week. Thank you. You all basically brought the situation to a head and gave me an excuse to address it. Mm -hmm. Even though this wasn't the happy outcome I was hoping for, I'll still listen to y'all. Best, Vince. Dang. Yikes. Okay. Well, hey... I, I I've I've said for a long time it's it's sometimes group therapy is it's good in the sense where sometimes you just need to hear it out of someone else's mouth for you to take action. Sometimes other people need to hear it <laughs> for it to take action. But uh, yeah, but she, I mean, she she seems to be doubling down on her story. So I I don't know. I but he seems to think now looking back. That there, there were some other, other red flags. Reasons, yes, yeah. other red flags. That's interesting. To worry about. Yeah, so I'd love to be able to just talk to her and be like, "Hey, so you know, what's, what's your side of it? Yeah, yeah. What's the deal with this? Because obviously, she's like, "Hey, it was my sister's. You don't trust me. We're done." Yes. Um, Which I guess you know I can see that too. You don't want to be in a relationship with someone who is going to be second guessing you all the time, right? If you've given him no reason to second guess you, but it sounds like there may be other things Vince is now realizing. Yeah, so he still doesn't know if if there's another person involved. He still doesn't know any of that, but, you know, I guess. He's guessing at this point, and he feels like he's got enough of a feeling Mm -hmm. that there's other things to worry about. All right. Well, Vince, thank you for reaching back out to us. I know that that was probably tough to write down and you know, face because, uh, y- y- you know, it, uh, it's, it's tough when relationships come to an end. Well, yeah. And trust is the, the number one thing a couple needs to have mm-hmm. to, you know, have a foundation on mm-hmm. if you're going to go the distance for sure. All right. Well, appreciate that. Um, I don't know if anybody has a red flag that you just ignored. That you can kind of go back and look at it now and say, yeah, yeah, there were, yeah, red flags. Yeah. In hindsight, yep, I missed that. Yeah, missed that. Well, missed that too. Missed that. And I don't know if you would like to share. That might be something that we could do. 502-795-1997. So Vince knows that he's maybe not necessarily the only one who misses red flags. Or if, if that's maybe, the case. you know, if, I, and I feel like I'm still giving the girlfriend the benefit of the doubt. If she's not a red flag and she's just being misjudged, sorry. Yeah. Feel bad about that. Uh, we got a text from Stacy that says, so what I'm hearing 
is it seems like a pretty nice guy is now available, question mark. There you go, Vince. <laughs> your day just turned around, dude. <laughs> Maybe your day whenever, turned around. Whenever you never you're know. able to get up and about, you might have that's another right. option. All right. When one door closes, that's what they say. Yep. All right. All right. Thanks for the update. 502-795-1997. Ever miss a red flag? That, like, hindsight, you go back and you're like, oh, how did I miss that? It's 99.7 DJX. Um, Jessica, you got one? Guys, I missed a red flag that involves you all. What? Yeah. So, a long time ago, you guys did a competition called Dads in Drag for Justin Bieber tickets. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. I remember that. My child's father went a little too far in for the competition. Uh Uh-huh. And I was like... Why did you go get acrylic nails? Why did you shave your oh. legs? Why did you, like, oh. literally win the winner wow. beard? Like, yeah. Needless to say, we're not together, and him and his partner are very happy. Oh, oh. I was waiting for that. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, I know. So, and it was so funny because I was like, man. He really wants to win these freaking tickets for our kid. Like, kudos to you. So So, dedicated. So we we let your partner see his true and realize his true self. Yeah, I feel like later in life there's going to be like one of those compensation commercials on TV. Like, have you (laughs) lost your partner to a radio uh, competition? Like, did it expose themselves? Because we were all fine and dandy. And then... Like, my mom was like, does that not seem weird to you? And I'm like, no, this is dedication. (laughs) And then after the fact, I'm like, it all makes sense. Oh, my gosh, Jessica. (laughs) I feel like we need to apologize. But, um, you know, uh, hey, things things happen the way they happen, right? Exactly. I just, wow. (laughs) I just never in a million years did I expect a sharp left turn like that. <laughs> and I can only imagine how she felt. Oh, my gosh. A contest wow. that we did. Uh, Carly said from the very start, he showed mixed signals, lied about small and insignificant things. Huge mistake. Wasted 13 years with him. Never trusted him. Thought I was just overly jealous and insecure, but then realized he was actually flirting with all those other girls. Oh, wow. And I had a right to feel jealous. So, man, uh, some red flags uh, from Dave, lies. I can spot lies from 100 yards, but ignored hers because she wasn't ready to tell me. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Not, not, not the only person who has had red flags thro- just ignored in their own relationship. Yeah, Sarah, I made such an effort for his birthday, taking in, into consideration that he didn't want a big party, but mm-hmm. he wanted it to be us. Mm-hmm. I bought him something he'd been talking about for ages, made him a cake, decorated, and just made everything so that he'd feel special, loved, and appreciated. On my birthday, he texted me, well, happy birthday then, smiley face. And when we saw each other, he didn't even give me a card, let alone a birthday gift. Oh. I foolishly brushed it under the table because he has negative feelings around birthdays and coddled him. Should have known that wasn't a good sign. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> Travis says, Travis here. Red flags? Yeah, he was paranoid. Snooped through my phone. Mm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that was a red flag that was ignored. Dana, not introducing me to his family. We dated for nearly a year. And I never met his family who lived in town. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, I guess that point, would be a red flag. Should, yes, that you... That, should tell you that the relationship doesn't have much legs. Barbara, him asking for an open relationship <laughs> after one year of monogamous relationship. All right. She ignored that red flag? I, I guess. I guess so. Uh, last one, Katrina uh, texted him getting annoyed about communicating. <laughs> what? He would always. He would also always say, I'm trying to start a fight when I would bring up stuff. That was bothering me. Genuinely, he would get so mad about me reacting to any sort of disrespect. Okay, so yeah, you you definitely have to be able to talk to yeah, each to other, talk and communicate. Yeah, when you have issues, because it's not going to be yep. rosy all of the time. No, you are going to have issues you need to solve. Conflict no. is going to happen. It's going to happen.
All right. Well, hey, thank you for that. Crazy. <laughs> it's wow. 9970JX. 9,